Hey Corey, how's it going? My name is Jose Reyes and I spoke to you on the phone in regards to me recording a short video for you guys showing some simple steps on how you guys can increase your online presence. Now before I dig into the video, I'm just going to do a quick analysis of your website in order to use that as a guide to see the things you got to work on. So first things first, I just want to say you have a beautiful website and it's super, super easy to navigate. However, when it comes to uh, generating leads organically, you're not really generating any per month according to one of my tools on Ares.com. Now let's go back right here. So how exactly can you get your website to be ranking on Google and generate you more leads for your business? So when it comes to ranking on Google, there's many, many influential factors. However, in this video, I'll be covering the top three that has, that has the most influential factor when it comes to ranking on Google. So the first topic we'll be talking about in this video will be content. So when it comes to ranking on Google, content is king. So when you fix your content on your website, you want to have around a thousand words of content in your homepage. Reason being, right now your competition probably has 400, 500. And when it comes to ranking on Google, the more information you have, the higher you rank. So on top of having those thousand words of content in your homepage, you want to have keywords in your content. So what exactly is a keyword? A keyword essentially is a popular phrase that people search on Google for services like yours. So for instance, I know you're located in St. Pete, and in this video, we'll just focus on one keyword, okay? So the keyword of landscape in St. Petersburg FL has an average search volume of 90 per month, with a difficulty of 6, which means it's quite easy to rank for. Now, there's obviously many other keywords, like I said, we can target and show you, but I want to keep this video short and sweet. So those keywords you want to have in your titles, in your content, and also in your images. So let me see if you're saving those images under those keywords. So no, they're saved under your website name. Landscape design. Very gener generic. So let's head over to Google. And let's see what happens when you search up the keyword of landscape in St. Petersburg, St. Petersburg, Florida. So the first thing you see is the Google Guarantee section, which is pretty much ads. That is a ad spot here for the map pack the map pack, then the organic listing. So a fun fact about this is about 70% of people tend to stay in the organic listing and the other 30% tend to stay in the ad section and the map pack section. So when was the last time you went on Google, looked up something, and then you went past to the second page, third page, fourth page, etc.? Probably never. And if you did, it was a super rare occurrence. So this is why it's important for you to establish that online presence on Google in order to generate more leads for your business. So right now we'll be looking into stpcomplete.com and Southern Hospitality Lawn and Landscaping in order to see what exactly you're doing to generate the leads you're currently getting. So let's go to St. Pete Complete. So as you can see, they have a normal looking website. They provide their services, um, a little information. They're, they're honestly not doing too good. The only thing I can tell you right now that's helping them is the their age of their domain and Something that we'll talk about in the second topic coming up. Let me see if they're saying their images under the keywords. So not really. Yeah, not really. Now let's go over to this one. Let's see their images. So as you can see, they're saving their images under landscaping to complete Petersburg. Landscapers, as you can see, they also do it for other keywords as well. So landscapers Tampa Bay. They have more information than the other website but still not quite a lot. So what exactly is helping these websites to be ranking on Google? So content does help, which they're not doing a good job on, um, but the next influential factor is backlinks. So backlinks are essentially clickable links that once you click on it, it will take you to your website. So right now this tool is telling me that you have 25 backlinks coming from 12 different websites. So let me show you what a backlink is. So like I mentioned, once you have a backlink, you have to be careful where it's coming from because not all websites are created equal. And if you have a link on a spammy website, it's gonna hurt your ranking and hurt your backlink profile score. So let's hold here. Alrighty, so as you can see right here, you have a backlink coming from the bluebook.com. And if I click on website, bam, it takes me to your website. That's what a backlink pretty much is. Where am I? Right here. So with that being said, you're being you're ranking for 25 keywords for you, you're in the third, fourth, or fifth page. So one of the keywords you're ranking for is how to tell if a girl is talking to multiple guys, um, which is not related to your business. 
So I'm not sure who's handling your websites, but if you guys didn't know about this, um, I guess someone's, you have a blog about this topic. Um, the next competitor is CMP Complete. So as you can see, they have a very poor content. However, their backlink profile is really good for CMP. They have a domain rating of 27, URL rating of 9, 145 backlinks coming from 30 different websites. They're ranking for over 196 keywords and generating about 124 traffic per month. Let's see which keyword they're ranking for. So as you can see, this tool tells me all the keywords they're ranking for and about how much approximately they're generating per keyword. And this will be the other one. This one, they have a poor backlink. So if you're able to fix your content, add a few more good quality backlinks, you can start beating this one in no time. Let's see which keywords they're ranking for. So their own brand name, and same thing, landscaping CMP, landscaping St. Petersburg, etc. Alrighty, so now let's head over to Google again. We'll talk about the last topic, which is how exactly are you able to rank on the top three Google Maps? So just like ranking organically, there's many influential factors, but the main influential factor for this is citation. So a citation is pretty much uh, pages like Facebook, Andrew's List, Yelp, Home Advisor, that and directories that has your business name business address and business phone number and all that must match your Google business profile in order to be considered an, a citation by Google and the more you have the higher trust Google has with you but like I said that is not the only influential factor but it is the one that influences the most so I know I spoke fast in this video I hope you enjoy it and if you have any questions at all feel free to reach back out to me and I hope you have a great day you take care